Hi, I'm Josh Dittman with Cashco Incorporated, and today we're going to go over installing a B kit and our Model D pressure reducing regulator. We're going to need a 5 8 wrench, a 9 16 wrench, a torque wrench, and a 9 16 socket. First things first and most important is relieving the spring tension using this adjusting screw. So you'll use your 5 8 wrench, rotate the adjusting screw counterclockwise until you can feel that there's no spring tension. And at that point, we can go ahead and remove our perimeter bolting. And you can use the socket and torque wrench for this operation, uh, or a wrench, whatever you prefer. Again, just making sure you have no spring tension here. Okay, and now you can remove the spring chamber. And the spring and spring button. Pressure plate. And your diaphragm and diaphragm gasket. Here you may have a metal diaphragm with a diaphragm gasket or a composition diaphragm which does not require a diaphragm gasket. And your pusher plate. At this point, we'll take the body out of the vise and set it on your work surface. And impact, pneumatic impact for this. And remove the body cap. Once you break it loose, you can go ahead and remove the pneumatic impact and just switch to the socket alone. So, body cap, return spring, piston, cylinder, and cylinder gasket. So at this point, we'll go ahead and discard all of these used parts and bring in our Model D B parts kit. Okay, we have our parts set out here. And this is what's going to come in your B kit. And so we have di uh, diaphragm, diaphragm gasket, cylinder, piston, pusher plate, cylinder gasket, return spring, take your cylinder gasket and drop it down inside your body, ensuring it drops down inside the groove. Next, we'll need your cylinder. And piston and return spring. At this point you'll need the body cap and some thread sealant. Gas oil thread sealant is what we use here at Cashco. Any thread sealant that's acceptable for your application would be fine. We can start by installing the body cap with, by hand, ensuring you're not cross-threading into the body. Body cap should screw in by hand until it makes contact with the return spring. When you can no longer turn it by hand, you can use your socket with your hand. And once the body cap has met the body, you can go back to your pneumatic impact. And we're creating a metal to metal seal here uh, so there is no torque spec. When you place the Model D body back into your vise, place your outlet on your right hand side.
pusher plate. Diaphragm gasket. Diaphragm. Pressure plate. Range spring. Spring butt. Should still be some lubrication present on the spring button, but you're welcome to add some more. Next step here is reinstalling your spring chamber. When you install the spring chamber, ensure that the port on the spring chamber follows the outlet. Engage the bolting in a cross pattern. Once you have all the perimeter bolting started by hand, you can use an impact to run the bolts down. Once your perimeter bolting is hand tight, you can switch to your torque wrench and 9 16th socket. I have my torque wrench set at 22 foot pounds and I'll begin to tighten the perimeter bolting in a cross pattern. Take care when you're tightening the nameplate bolt uh, or the bolt with the nameplate it can slide a little bit. Alright, and at this point, the Model D is rebuilt. You can adjust your adjusting screw until you make contact with the spring. And this Cashco Model D pressure reducing regulator is ready to be reinstalled in your line.